सो वेलकम बैक गाइज टू अन अदर वीडियो द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज फैक्टर्स मॉडिफाइंग ड्रग एक्शन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वॉज डन अर्लियर इफ यू मिस दैट पार्ट यू कैन गो बैक टूवर्ड्स इट एंड दीज आर द अदर फो फो फैक्टर्स सो द फैक्टर्स दैट आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कस यर आर जेनेटिक्स एनवायरमेंट फैक्टर्स इन टाइम ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन रूट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड साइकोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स सो लेट्स बिगिन genetics and the set of genes that a human possesses is different for everybody so a drug that goes into person a and a drug that goes in, into person b differs variedly and that variation can be up to 4 to 6 fold and hence the drug uh, relation or the drug result in both the persons will vary some genetic disorders will lead to discontinuous variation in drug responses so this means that if there is a genetic response already if there is a genetic disorder already present then the drug will respond in a different manner than it does in a normal individual now let's move on to the second factor that is environment factors and time of administration environment factors include exposure to insecticides chemicals carcinogens and tobacco so uh, tobacco smoke so if you are exposed to any of these the factor the action of the drug and the distribution of the drug in the body will reduce greatly and it also depends on the type of diet and the way you take in the drug as in the time interval you take the drug and the time interval between meals that you have taken the drug Th- this affects a lot of admi- uh, administration and distribution of the drug in the body and hence eff- uh, affects the effectiveness of the drug now let's move on to the next factor which is route of administration the route of administration is basically how the drug is entering into the body so it defines the speed and intensity of the drug response different uses through different routes there is an example that is given below that is magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate when given orally acts as a purgative which means it helps in evacu- evacuation of bowels and when it is applied on inflamed area it helps in decreasing swelling and when magnesium given magnesium sulfate is given iv through an iv it helps in C- it helps as a cns depressant and hypotension so each root has a different use that is what is explained in route of administration psychological factors efficacy of a drug or uh, can be ex- affected by a patient's belief and attitudes and expectation so if a patient believes in the drug that has been given to him it will be more helpful towards him and more helpful for the body on the other hand on the other hand when the patient doesn't believe in the drug it will lead to delayed results and it might might even not give any results so there is a thing called placebo that is given when the patient does not need any medicine it is an inert substance which is given instead of the medicine it does not have any pharmacological activity but it just has a psychological boost to the mind to relieve the patient from any unwanted anxiety this is given in two types of situations that is used in a clinical trial or to treat patient who does not require any medication in accordance to the doctor so these are mainly the two ways in which a placebo can be given other factors that are included to modify drug action are tolerance and pathological state so now i'll give you one moment to capture the whole notes and again this is taken from kd tripathi and will be helpful to you in sem 4 pharmacology so wait for the next video thank you very much guys